you guys, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. I know, first time in quite a while, I don't have Spider-Man 3 as the main thing to get you to click on side flicks. So, found that out the hard way. Most of y'all were skipping to the Spider-Man news. So if you clicked on this video just to hear other news, I like you. But specifically what we're going to be talking about here on Side Flick is an update on the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. We have here kind of a rather sad update. Looks like they might be recasting one of the voice actors. Talking about some stuff happening in the Disney Plus world with WandaVision and other up and coming shows that sound fantastic. Hollywood even making an Uno action heist movie. So be sure you guys leave your opinions down below with everything we discuss here today. Make sure you're making your voices heard down there. I will say guys this weekend I will be out of town. It is up. My birthday on Saturday. No, just a humble brag. But no, the reason I say that is because since I will be out of town away from my desk, if big breaking news drops and I don't cover it, I am really sorry to let you guys down. I'll do my best. But I do have other videos I prepare for you guys while I'm away. All right, so the first story we're going to dive in here today is just this unbelievable, crazy, wild stuff that Hollywood really thinks is a good idea to not only make a movie about the card game Uno, to make it an action heist movie. <laughs> let me go ahead and read this to you guys. So the Hollywood reporter here says, Little Yachty, Mattel, team for action comedy based on Uno. So the details they have here, the movie is described as an action heist comedy set in the underground hip-hop world of Atlanta. Yachty is attached to produce with an eye to star in the movie. Uh, if you guys aren't too familiar with Yachty, I have heard some of his songs, I like them, nothing wrong with the rapper at all, but come on, you did not think when you woke up today that you'd be hearing an Uno movie starring a rapper and the movie would be an action heist comedy set in the underground world of hip- Okay, let me find that. Where is that? I'm gonna need you to draw two, Hollywood. <laughs> I never thought these Uno cards in the desk would come in handy, but... Hollywood, you never surprised me. I really have no idea how this movie could even work, how it's gonna function, how this makes sense, and how even the game of Uno plays into all this. Like, what? Action heist movie? So what, when the cops come, did they go, reverse, you arrested. You're arrested. What Yachty had to say with being involved with this, he said, I played Uno as a kid and still do today. So to spin that into a movie based on the Atlanta hip hop scene I came out of is really special. It hits close to home for me. Yachty. Yachty. Yachty! <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this. How do you guys feel about Hollywood making an Uno movie? with a premise like this. Moving on to some Disney Plus updates right here. I'm trying to combine these stories because some stuff has been coming up here. Really loving the content they are bringing. WandaVision is getting better and better. Heck, I know when I post this video, I probably went ahead and already did a WandaVision breakdown while I was out of town just for you guys, so you better go watch that. But Disney is certainly loving the success they're having from WandaVision and are only going to continue having so much more success throughout the rest of the year because, guys, they are bringing us like seven shows all in 2021. We still got... Falcon and Winter Soldier coming up. We got the Hawkeye show. We got the Miss Marvel show. The Loki show. All of that coming in 2021. Yeah. Well, they also went ahead and said that another TV show is in the works, and this one will be based on the city of Wakanda. The Hollywood Reporter here has it that Ryan Coogler, the man who directed the first Black Panther movie, lands a deal to make a Wakanda series for Disney+. Plus. With the amount of money Disney Plus is getting from people signing up every week to watch these Marvel shows, we are only going to be getting so much more. And a Wakanda TV series is something I would definitely love to see. Some of the details here aren't quite clear as to exactly what we will see. Some people are saying that we will just be mainly focusing on one tribe in Wakanda and kind of just learning more about the culture, probably the origins and the future of where they're headed. The fact that Ryan Coogler is the one behind this and producing the show is what got me excited because, I mean, this guy brought Black Panther to an Oscar and he has the heavy duty of rewriting Black Panther 2, taking T'Challa out of the story, which I still think was a mistake not to recast, but whatever. Past that, gotta get over it. I wonder if some people are feeling like Marvel's maybe doing too much or they're overextending their brand right now. But really, the amount of quality they pump into these things, I'm down for this. The other Disney Plus update we had here is that Don Cheadle will actually be showing up in Falcon and Winter Soldier, and that's some of the stuff I'm loving right here. Because even Elizabeth Olsen, who plays Wanda in WandaVision, teased that we're getting a Luke Skywalker type cameo for WandaVision. People hoping it's Tobey Maguire, maybe Doctor Strange. Hell, the introduction of Magneto in there. I'm still kind of wondering who it'll be. But this is the stuff I'm loving that these TV shows actually 
feel like movie events. So with all those Disney Plus updates, which one had you the most excited? Which one are you most looking forward to? And what can you theorize is happening in the Disney Plus MCU universe? Getting on to some Scream 5 here. Still really looking forward to this movie. And it's been real hush-hush quiet to what exactly has been going on with good old 5 Cream. But that is just because the film has finished wrapping. It's going to be completely silent until they start marketing. Which I don't think will be to the end of summer. Maybe early fall. Because this film still has a January 2022 release date. But we have gotten some new rumors that have leaked online. Along with looking at the mask and cloak for this new Scream movie that I must say, I dig it. So take these leaks with a grain of salt. It is someone who is claiming to work for Paramount here. But the source I'm getting it from, which is this Scream obsessed Twitter account that rarely ever lies and is always on the money with everything related to Scream 5. So if you guys want to go ahead and drop a follow for them. But these are some of the details that are being let loose about what we can expect to see from Scream 5. And I don't think these are any huge spoilers or anything that will ruin the film for you. So one of the things they say here is, do we and Gail have a fight early on in the movie? I don't even think that's a big deal. It's almost like every Scream movie starts off with Dewey and Gail fighting with each other. But if this seems to be correct, it would debunk my theory that the film will start off with Dewey and Gail already divorced. That's what I'm thinking has been happening, where Dewey stayed in Woodsboro, became the sheriff, taking care of that town. And then when Ghostface shows up, Gail comes back from Hollywood or wherever she is to investigate the story because it's one of the things that made her famous. And then that's probably where they'll reconnect and remarry. The other thing they mention here is Ghostface will get crafty with his kills and use new weapons. A pair of scissors is involved. Really do love that right there. A pair of scissors, okay, that's kind of cool that he'll be doing that. But Ghostface is a human, okay, and I do love him using his hunting knife, but if he uses other stuff throughout the movie and gets creative and crafty about how to kill people, Oh, I am gonna love that. It's only gonna lead to maybe other Funko Pops of him holding other stuff. And one thing they add here that is kind of concerning to me where they say there will be a main title sequence that will please fans of the original franchise. Very visual effects heavy. So... I'm thinking there when they say there's a main title sequence, which is like the opening of the movie when they start up. There's been some great ones in the past with the Scream franchise. I'm thinking they're probably going to go ahead and do the thing where they kind of retell all the past Scream movies through the opening sequence. That would be a great little recap and refresher, especially since they're branding this movie as just Scream and showing it to new audiences. But the part there where they say very visual effects heavy, I'm not sure if that's an add-on to this opening sequence or they mean the entire movie is visual effects heavy that would be really surprising to me because this is a film that i would think uses very little visual effects and maybe the occasional blood spouting or something like that but visual effects heavy what are they trying to do here is ghostface some sort of mutant that transforms i'm fine with it as long as they're not crushing bodies or bending bones using cgi because i can always tell when that stuff is fake i would rather it be more practical but i guess we'll have to wait and see on what exactly that means the other thing here is rj tolbert who is the guy who makes the ghostface mask and runs fun world he had a little giveaway where if you donated to charity you had a chance to win an actual ghost face mask used on screen five and some of the winners have already gone ahead and shown their mask along with the cloak they have and it looks like for screen five we're going back to the shiny cloak at least that's what these people have been given and i absolutely love that because i know it might seem weird but i kind of like the little sparkly cloak i feel like it gives them a nice little texture the mask really isn't all that different i know we've been hearing some stuff about it but i think again it's just the slightest tweaks that only the most obsessed scream fans notice while the rest of us are like all these masks look exactly the same. How do you guys feel about these Scream 5 updates and what can you make out from them? Jumping on to some rather sad news here, it looks like the voice of Tails who we saw at the end credits scene for the Sonic movie might be looking to get recast. If you're a big Sonic fan, you might have seen the big news going around where a lot of the main voice actors for the current Sonic series have been let go and fans were devastated to see them go. And that included Colleen who voiced Tails at the end of the Sonic movie. Now, I know just because they're not voicing part of a cartoon that doesn't have anything to do with the movie, but if you go ahead and read some of the replies that Colleen has been saying about her involvement in Sonic movie 2, it's not looking great. Thank you to user Luis Jesse Zamudio. He's the one ahead who went and asked Colleen this question and also DM me screenshots of her reply where he asked her if she could confirm her involvement in Sonic Movie 2 and her return for the film. And she said, I wish I could confirm, but they haven't cast me yet. And we know the movie is set to start filming next month and they haven't even contacted Colleen to come back as Tails. It's not looking good. And some people who theorize they might replace her with a more notable name, I'm not saying it's Tom Holland, 
talent, but just someone who's recognizable that would bring people to the theater is looking more of a possibility. I kind of hate this because I thought she was great as Tails, and it would also show some love to the Sonic community who is now sad that she's no longer voicing Tails in an upcoming Sonic series. This would kind of be a perfect win. It would be weird if we have another storm of fans demanding her return, kind of like they did with the Sonic redesign. How do you guys feel about Tails possibly being recast for Sonic Movie 2? But that is just all the movie news we currently have going on right now, guys. I want to know your opinions down below with everything we discussed here today. What news got you excited? What news made you sad? Anything, I want to hear it down below. Be sure you subscribe, hit that like button, follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.